This is the book of Deuteronomy. I believe chapter 12. And then again at verse um, 28. Observe and hear all these words which I have command, which I command thee, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee forever. When thou doest that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh, thou shim Yahushai, thy power. And the Lord, thy power shall cut off the nations from before thee, whether thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them and dwellest in their land. Verse 30. Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Verse 31, Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy power, for every abomination to the Lord, by Hashem, the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which he, hate, which he hateth, have they done unto their gods, for even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. This is the book of Colossians. Chapter 2, point is verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Mashiach. I want to start off by giving all praises, all go I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem, Racha, Hudashbakatham, double honors to the apostles and to the elders, a great millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth. Pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Aquat and the Yakim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and the land of the other nations appearing like the other nations. Subscribing to this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sab out of the GMS Cleveland Church. Fellow servant coming to you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shem Shai. So basically, um, Yesterday, um, you know, we know it was that pagan ass holiday. Um mentioned is um called Halloween, but if you know you did somewhat of a search, you know that's a pagan holiday that goes back to the Druids and goes back to um uh, you know, I, I, it's a video with Big Judah, this bug out this said this motherfucker said we the ancient druids. <laughs> you got people thinking that he literally the Lord dealing with him. Anyhow, um, they go back to Sam Hain, you know, um, which is a pagan holiday. Go back to the, the Druids and, you know, there's some off, off shit. And the scriptures tell you about how the Most High um, despises your pagan holidays. Um, I'm going to get that real quick. But as you can see, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, um, made a covenant. When we made that covenant with him, you know, and that's why I came out with that Deuteronomy. He said, um, you know, follow not after their gods. Follow up, not after their customs, you know what I mean? And that was one of the issues Israel has always done. You know, um, you know, they wanted a king like the other nations when the king of our people is the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, that's why he told um, Samuel they didn't uh, reject you, they rejected me. But um, this is Amos chapter 5. Verse 21, I hate, I despise your feast days. I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Um, because, you know, basically, you know, because Israel has always been, you know, being a whore. That's what it referred to, um, you know, because Israel's is likened unto as a woman. And, um, you know, it tells you in the scriptures that um, basically the tabernacle of the Most High resides with men. So men are the truly faithful, you know what I mean? Effeminate, when you go into the word effeminate, it's a lack of faith. That's what women don't really believe. They believe in their man, you know what I mean? Um, more so than they believe in the Most High. You know, you got righteous women because they actually doing what, you know, um, they, 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 they're they being, you know, um, they following the man. And if the man is a righteous man, you know, and he following the law, such and commandments, they're following him. You got brothers that's literally going through hell right now, you know what I mean? They in, put in that position where they got to decide and, you know, you know, they their households are in jeopardy and whatnot. You know, I know brothers in our camp that's going through that. So, you know, well, everybody's about to get tested. But not to be digressing and jumping all around, you know, Israel was like basically being whorish because you will have um, them literally 
participating in the high holy days, but then actually secretly um, worshiping other gods. You know, um, when you go into the god Molech, you know, um, and passing their children through the fire, and you do that to the to this day um, with the Planned Parenthood. You know, um, and Esau know that. You know, um, but again. Um, these pagan holidays are an abomination. I just read that in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 12. So, um, like I said, I, we was talking about how, you know, basically I was saying how it's going to be a lot of judgment on Halloween. And, uh, you know, brother went and checked on some certain things. And then I just so happened to check on my news break. And, yeah, it was a lot of judgment on Halloween. A lot of Halloween parties, people got shot. Um, brother put a group chat, an um, a, a, a article in the group chat. It was a guy that dressed up like the Joker and stabbed 17 people. <laughs> and what they don't understand is the Joker, even before I came into the knowledge, not to brag or be boastful or anything, the spirit of the Lord must have jumped on me because I knew this before I even found out years later, you know, that I was right, you know. The Joker is a spirit. That's why if you watch that last Joker movie, he came, you could see when the demon jumped on him. And then basically when he like brought that spirit of chaos, the whole city went chaotic. That's how powerful the demon was. And then they made that movie a couple years ago and look at the chaos they're trying to bring forth. Esau is a warlock. And you got two thirds of Jake too, because you know they in these secret societies to try and better themselves on this side. Shit, a lot of us is uh, fucked up because our family members are were Masons or are Masons and um, Eastern stars. And if to show you how stupid our people are, it literally tells you. Albert Pike literally says that you know, basically you mislead those that's like once you get to a certain level, you understand that you worshiping Shantan, Satan. And those that's up under that certain level, they're supposed to be misled. Because if they can't see it, just like why the elite consider most people sheeple, stupid. And and, and rightfully so, because look how stupid these people are. These people done took some shit that you don't even know what this shit is. Anyhow, not to keep on running off at the mouth, I'm going to bring out a little bit of this article. Because it was um, I found one that had multiple places where... Um, it was judgments, and it tells you in the scripture, uh, you know, that the most high judge of every day. Bear with me. Hey, this something. Um, I'm going to pause it. Okay, so it says Chicago area mass shooting at a Halloween party leaves two dead, more than a dozen injured, police say. Witnesses told police that. They believe there were two shooters. A suburban Chicago house, a, a suburban ha Chicago Halloween house party turned deadly early Sunday when two people were killed and more than a dozen were injured by gunfire. The sheriff's office said a patrol sergeant with the Will County Sheriff's Office heard ten to twelve gunshots just after twelve thirty a.m. in Julia Township. The sheriff's office said in a press release. A sergeant went to the area of gunfire and observed more than 100 people fleeing a house party. He then proceeded on foot to the area of Jackson Street and Grinton, Grinton Avenue, where he believed the gunfire originated. Fleeing witnesses told the officers that the shooting occurred in the backyard of a home at 1018 East Jackson Street. Then you had another situation. Um, additional officers arrived and found victims in the backyard and at nearby homes and more shots were near. Heard nearby authorities said the Will County Sheriff's Office said more than a dozen people were hospitalized. Two were confirmed dead and four others were seriously hurt as a result of injuries sustained at the party. Then you had, um, it says police estimated about 200 people attended a Halloween party at the home and that the shooting occurred outside near a DJ booth set up in the backyard. Authorities said it appeared the shooting happened from an elevated position on a porch looking down over the crowd. So basically somebody literally set that up then it, you know it was a situation that happened in texas mash um like same thing it was a party and you know multiple people got shot i mean this happened um like i said in sacramento you know it's been you know what I mean? and it tells you about 
in the book of Jeremiah how sottish and foolish our people are because they're trying to participate in these holidays and these customs that's not, not ours. And rightfully so, they just deserve to get jailed. So let me get that real quick. Uh, where is it at? I think it's right there. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse um, 3, verse 5. The Lord, Salaki, the just Lord, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He felleth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Then we could go to, um, what's that? Uh, I think it's Psalms 7. This is the book of Psalm 7 and 11. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua judges the righteous. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua is angry with the wicked every day. So it's judgment every day. But, you know, it was a, 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 what's the word? An increased amount on that wicked ass pagan holiday. You know, and that's all, you know, pointing out, showing you that the Most High despises these wicked ass holidays. Um. Let's see what else. Uh, so, um, saying all that to say this, you know, um, expect to see more judgment. Um, it, you know, it, it talks about in the book of Matthews about how iniquity um, shall abound and the love of many shall wax cold. And, you know, like I said again, I found it hilarious because we was just at camp. And the spirit jumped on me to bring out the whole thing I said about the Joker. and Because um, we almost saw a judgment happen right when we starting camp. The, uh, you know, I, I spoke on as far as the Joker thing, how that's really a spirit. It's a spirit of chaos. And um, literally, uh, did the brother, like I said, put a video there, there talk about the Tokyo got Joker dressed up like the Joker and stabbed. And then you remember that one Batman uh, with the Joker uh, the Dark Knight, you know, I mean, Joker, remember his favorite thing was the knife. Right. So I, I find it kind of funny. But it's, I find it funny because I know the Most High has a sense of humor. Like, you you wouldn't be able to fathom the mind of the Most High just like when he really started passing judgment. Like the brother um, whose page is Bakura Moth, um, he, what do he say? He said, like, he, he sometimes he just makes mention of it because when you take them, think about it. The Lord can make you have a slow, agonizing death. He don't have to kill you immediately. You know, you got to remember, the, you know, Paul was stoned to death and then the Lord put his spirit back in his body. <laughs> so you could be literally like dying, but dying slower. The Lord just, he ain't taking your spirit away and you, you can't walk and you getting rained on and, and, and sh you know what I mean? Yeah, fucking animals coming feeding on you. Yeah. And rightfully show that this place is supposed to get judged the way it's, it's, it's going to get judged because at the end of the day, the iniquities of this place have reached on to the most high, to the heavens. So I'm going to end with this second Ezra. It's the book of second Ezra chapter 15. Um, oh, we'll start at. 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. I'm going to skip to verse 22. My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. Verse 23, the fire has gone forth from his wrath and hath consumed the foundations of the earth and the sinners like the straw that is kindled. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Skipping to verse 26. For the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushah, knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Verse 27. For, the, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushah, shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. I'm going to end with 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. 
for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. You know, like I said, again, you know something tainted about this fucking holiday, you know what I mean, or that, that holiday, and you still got people still participating in it. You putting spirits on your children. You know, I was surprised. My damn demon, it, like, you would not imagine what I go through with this damn woman. But she literally put me in a situation where my kids didn't participate in it. So, um, with that, if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, or you will be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kohalayim, La Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, Bashem, Racha, Hudash Brakatham, double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwatim, the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom, and Wath Labba Shalom.